So, just another quick video about the new automatic database backup feature that's been added to Visual D-Day 2021. So as you probably know, there's always been, or at least for a long while, been a database backup feature in Visual D-Day. And that's the one down here. So you can see that if you go into the database part, there is a create database backup. This is also where you restore it. But the new thing is that you can actually get Virtual D-Day to do this automatically so that you don't forget it. Uh, so when you create a database backup, uh, you of course put it somewhere. And one place to, uh, to do it is in the documents slash virtual D-Day slash backup folder. So as you can see, I already have two backups here. One from two days ago, three days ago, and one from yesterday. And uh, the idea, of course, now is that this should do this automatically. So uh, how do I do that? Well, if I go back into Virtual DJ and into Settings and into Options, like I am now, and I type in Backup, you can see that the bottom one is the database backup location. So whereas this is where it puts the backup files. Now I can ch choose a new location here if I want to, but if I don't, it puts it into the folder you just saw, the Virtual DJ. Um, backup folder under documents. So I don't want to um, put anything in here because that folder is fine for me. And then the other one is the number of days between uh, each backup that it should do. So you simply put in a number here for the number of days. So since I wanted to do every day, at least for this video, I put in one, like this. So that means that it should back up my database once a day. So I should I close this setting. Now it's set to one day, and I try to go back to my folder, but nothing has happened. And that's weird because today is actually November 6th, uh, so I don't have a backup for today. That's because it doesn't happen now. It actually happens at Virtual DJ Startup. So if I shut down Virtual DJ and I open it again, and then I go back to my folder, you see, now I have a new database backup file for today. So uh, that's basically uh, the main part of it. So, so you simply set up the number of days between when you want the database uh, backup to happen. That, of course, also means that since you saw it do it when I opened Virtual DJ, that this will not happen if you don't open Virtual DJ. So you can't just assume that you can uh, let your laptop uh, be on the shelf or use it for other stuff but never opening Virtual DJ and have the database backup. It only happens when Virtual DJ runs. So that's a pretty important information to remember. But if you run it regularly and set it maybe like to do it every seven days, then it'll continue building these backups. And of course, these backups have all the stuff uh, you accept them to have now. And uh, so that means it has the database, it has the settings, but it also have your playlists, the patch mapping, if you change that. It has your mappers, have your history, folders, devices, events, if you use the event center, stuff, all this kind of stuff. So it's great stuff to have so you don't lose uh, anything, but especially it's the database uh, and also the settings that you probably don't want to use, uh, don't want to lose. So that's, that's the thing of it. So that's basically the most important part. Now, for the more technical people, here's a little bit more information. Because how is this really controlled? Well, of course, you would assume that if I now close down Virtual DJ, because we know it, it starts, it happens at startup, and then I remove the newest backup file, like that, and I open Virtual DJ again, then I should get a new backup file. But I don't. And why is that? Well, that's actually because Virtual DJ doesn't look at these files to figure out if it's do a new backup, it looks in its settings file. So if I go into the settings file here, which is in the document special DJ folder, that's just an XML file. That means it's text-based, so I can open it in a text editor like this. And then I locate the database backup settings. You can see that the automatic database backup period has been set to yes. That's what you would expect, because that's what we just did. But it also has a database backup last, and that is what it uses to, uh, to measure if it has already done the backup it needs to do, or if it needs to do it now. And that's just a weird number. So what is this weird number? That's actually Unix time. So that's actually number of seconds since J2 
January 1st, 1970. That's a, a regular way of putting time uh, into an integer. So that's why it has this weird number, but this actually means right about now. So uh, if you run a test that, uh, that it does the redo do the backup, backup based on your settings, and you already have a, a backup happen, then it's not enough to remove the files. You actually need to change this in this, in this file. Of course, you should not do this on your Git laptop. It's dangerous to, to, to try to change these internal files that uh, Virtual DJ uses uh, and then expect everything to work. This is a, a test uh, laptop, so, so that's okay, but don't do it on a Git laptop. Another thing is that uh, Virtual DJ actually changes this on the shutdown, so to not get overwritten, I need to shut down Virtual DJ now, and then do the change. I'll just set it to one second after January 1st, 1970, and then I'll save it. So now it should be so that when Virtual DJ opens again, it'll know that it needs to do a backup every day, but it hasn't done one since January 1st, 1970, and then one second after midnight. So now if I open version DJ, and go back to the backup folder, then I have a new backup file for today. So that's just a little bit of technical information for the technical people if you want to test it out on a, on a backup laptop or on a home laptop yourself because the, before starting to use this. But the important part is this is a great feature. It's great stuff that it puts in there. Set it up because it doesn't really take too much space. So set it up and have it run maybe uh, once every week as long as you use Visual DJ regularly on the, on the, on the, uh, on the laptop. This can also be on a Geek laptop then it should be all just fine. So that's uh, basically uh, all the information.